guys, there's been a new update. I'll come back to this game a day later, they drop us an update. I'm excited to jump in and take a look. And it's Easter. I remember Easter last year. I am 100% certain, well, I shouldn't say 100% because generally I don't know anything, but I'm pretty certain that they had, a, oh, that looks cool, that they had a, um, that's when Triple Star Lily came out last year. So let's jump in and take a little look what we got. We got, <sighs> sorry, I fell asleep. We have the same layout as always, and they're exactly the same. But we got two new characters. What? You, you're joking. Nah, 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 nah. They haven't done a skit. They've done a skin. They've done a skin of him. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. They've just popped him in a blinking red shirt and just dropped an egg on the back. <laughs> oh, God, I love it how lazy they are. I absolutely have to respect them for how lazy they are so we've we've got apparently easter go i mean i could just put on a an easter egg t-shirt and then be easter egg drafty josh and charge you a million pounds to watch my next video i don't know maybe i'll do that um and then we've got a, we've got a new character here as well so Oh god! I have actually. I don't mean to have. A, I don't have a comment to make on this character. Just apart from relax, which whichever sort of designer or whatever they give these characters to her and um, Hellish Blizzard, chill. Maybe you're watching a little bit too much anime. Not that that's a problem, but there we go. So we've got two new characters, which that's fine. It's fine, isn't it? It's fine. It's two characters. We've got the Wish Diviner. Now, I believe that they've added, actually, you can pick 12. Yeah, they've added every single event character in here, which I actually really quite like that idea. So any that you've missed, jump back in and get involved. Um, to be honest with you, out of all of these, I don't really need to level up any more star she does her purpose on mythic you see at the back she doesn't get hit fantastic metal bat's absolutely fantastic i hire sometimes hire jonas's one which is five stars decimates everything um we got i love watchdog christmas he just looks ridiculous i'm not actually sure who i'm gonna um try and pull from in there um or if, if i just uh, focus on me me good old bots guys in the good old claw machine is what I might do. It's pr actually probably the way I'll go so that I can keep getting all my... Because I basically want to try and get five characters maxed out on level 30. So I'll probably just use all my tokens on the bots. But yeah, I'm not judging anyone else who decides to get characters. Drop a comment down below and let me know what character you're going to be focusing on. Because I'm very interested to know who you're going to be working on. So that's lovely. So then we've got the Easter check-in event. Cannot complain about that. Nice and easy. We've, all, we've got the event, you know, the cards like normal. Um, double missions, events. We've got the Forces Unite, the cheeky little boss challenge here, which is nice because then you can get some decent stuff in the shop. The new characters, the Claw Machine, the Wish Diviner, and the Maze. We have... Oh, that looks so cool now. That looks awesome now. So we have the um, dice here as well. I'm really a fan of that. That looks really nice. That looks really cool. Oh, they've actually changed the layout of the board now as well. I like that. Why is he going that way? That has thrown me off. He is going backwards around the board. That is mental, but I allow it. So I like this. This is this looks cooler now. If anything, it's a bit easier where it's not got those weird angles and things going on. It's just a straight slap around the board. I actually quite like that. I think this, this looks so much nicer, this board now. Big hit there. One, two, three, four, five. I can get I can get the gold. I can get the gold. Let's go. Get that golden box. Boom. Hey. So I like that. I got no complaints about that. The global tournament, that's um finishing off from before, which is nice. We've got the elite showdown, and we've got the good old association gift again, which just gives you a complete type character. Um is is my No, they don't have them in there. I want to get some shards for uh kicky guy oh if i buy if i buy that can i max out blue fire 
actually. I think I can max out blue fire if I buy that. Ah, I can. Brilliant, I'm going to do that because that has been annoying me for a while. Let's buy that. Lovely. Accumulate 80 points and then defeat the boss on road one. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. And that means I can max out blue fire, which is nice because that has been bugging me for a very long time. Okay, so there's the kind of gist of the update, guys. I do recommend spending your 7,000 diamonds on that because um, at the end of the day, it kind of just balances out really to actually do normal summons. But at least you're guaranteed either, you know, a DLC character or, you know, a, a kind of like any character along those lines. So it, it's pretty useful. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Get my TTs. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If I claim my stuff, I should get a load of summons in here. A 200, 1,020. Brilliant. That's that's amazing. That is amazing. So the guild bow's coming along. Hey, nice. Hey, Jonas. Jonas is absolutely killing it. Jonas is going to take the elite box for that. That's some madness seeing his name pop up that many times. And then Drafty Demand can have one. Then we'll give one over to Drafty Legend. We'll give one over to Emmett. He's been an absolute loyal Jay Diesel solo. Um, where's Chun? Chun. Oh, I'll give Chun and X-Crate one of these ones because they're absolute gods. X-Crate, Captain Pro Gamer is an absolute legend as well. Um, Chun, Chun, Chun. Where's Chun? Chun. Chun. Loki, done. You guys are absolute duns. Slaying that boss. I'm going to be ready today. I'm going to be ready to, to jump in. At, um, it's oh, it's 9pm now because obviously the clocks went backwards. I think I'm getting that right. So yeah, that's that's down to 9pm now, which is fine. There we go. Brilliant. Sorry, I've just been getting distracted rinsing. I wanted to look at the new character view. Let's stop what I'm doing now. I'm, I am getting back into this now. I'm, yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this game, guys. I will do um, one of those for a tenor just to try it out, uh, and then we can review it. Um, because I'm curious to see how that works and how lucky you can get, etc. I imagine that you probably don't get very lucky at all. But um, there we go, guys. Okay, cool. So let's get back into what I was doing. I was Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. I was slowly going through these. So I wanted to get my... Um, I hope you guys are proud that I completed that story mode mission the other day. Absolutely slayed that story mode mission, I should say. Didn't just complete it. I absolutely decimated it. Right, so I should probably do these bits later. Because I'm, I'm just playing now and nobody wants to see that. Okay, so... Guild battles have been done. Okay, so let's let's take a cheeky look at these um, characters now and see what we get. Fighting the talk. Okay, now I'm going to complete this now. You, you've watched for this long, so unlucky, guys. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's take a look at these new characters now. Where's me album? Okay, so we have... Where is he? Where's the boy? <laughs> oh, God. Incredible. Just incredible is all I've got to say there. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Attack cycle with the highest attack. I actually quite like the idea of that. So it can you can try and eliminate the sort of most overpowered character. Then we've got his follow-up, which is the same as always. Oh, well, but this one... Dealing the target and other enemies to its left and right 100% attack damage. For each hit, it recovers 10% max HP. That's actually pretty good, actually, I'm not going to lie. Then we've got enemies who have been attacked by Ghost Tank are inflicted with rainbow coverage. Amazing. Receiving damage equal to 10% of Ghost Tank's current HP at the end of each round. That's quite cool, actually. So if you did a HP build with the gear, you'd be laughing. Then every enemy hit by rainbow coverage recovers 5% max HP. Every enemy hit by coverage. What? Presumably that means he recovers 5% of HP and not the enemy, but there we go. Attacks the target with the highest attack. So that... So to be honest with you, this character, 
Sounds cool, got some quirky moves, but a big no-no for me. I do not think he does anything worthwhile. The, the normal ghost go, go, ghost doop does enough damage. So then we push towards the, I guess you could say the hottie. Where is she here? Now, I think it's not the wisest choice that they've like done her sort of over the Playboy Bunny, considering Hugh Hefner is a absolute dirty man. But, you know, they can do what they want, I guess. So, she looks cool. She looks ridiculous. She'd go very, very... She'd go very well on a team with that Summer Hellish Blizzard. So, attacks from the enemy, dealing attack damage. Silence, lovely. That means they can't use their special, which is actually really quite cool if you put her in front of a terrible tornado. Skill, that's actually really cool. I like the idea of that. Then we've got a follow-up. Transcord her, dealing damage. So, that doesn't do anything special. I would have liked to have seen a silence in a follow-up as well. Then we got, when Super S is attacked, there's a 40% chance to reduce the defense of the attacker by 15%. Also decreases the rage. So that's very nice for, um, again, putting her in front of TT or Ghost Sank or someone with a stupidly overpowered special. Add a skill. Attacks all enemies dealing 250% attack damage to each and reducing it. She is mental. That is ridiculous. I am going to actually change what I was going to work on here. Can I... Grab her in this one or not? Really? They haven't put her in there? Or is that her? Or is that the normal one? Oh, she is in there. Awesome. So yeah, there we go. Defeat road to strong boss level. Oh, yeah, level three, that's fine. I'll do that later on. You don't need to see that. So that is pretty good going there, guys. She actually seems like she's going to be a very, very cool character. Um, let's see how many... Uh, shards we can pull from the cheeky um no from the wish diviner i should be able to convert everything through to get her you know but i'm curious to see it let's drop her in there great and let's see how many cheeky little shards we can get for her um Oh, I can grab a few more of those out of the boxes, actually. So then I can max that one out. So I'll go into there. I might as well grab the summons, because most of that converts to black XP now. i got a cheeky diamonds in there. Um, max level 40. Yeah, I'll grab 40 of those. So I've got a load of summons to use as well. Cool, so I'm happy with that. Now we're going to the guild and we can go into the Wish Diviner. Because I, I like to have some spare summons left over. So I'm quite um, excited actually to push through and see how well I can do with this character. She sounds ridiculous. She sounds cool. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm quite excited to jump in. I'm quite excited to jump in. So let's grab those last ones here. 22 more of those. And that leaves me with a decent amount left over. And let's convert my... Um, Actually, I'm not going to do the gacha coins yet. I, I'll come back and do that. But yeah, so I've got 157. Ready for a cheeky summon in spree video, which I'll do tomorrow. So make sure you like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you beauties in the next one.